TV. Give you guys a moment to jump on. I'm going to open this up on my phone. Say hello if you guys are popping on. And for those of you who are not used to Cosmic TV and this is new, welcome, welcome, welcome. For those of you who have been here before, welcome back. Such a beautiful community. Cosmic TV is an awesome community of spiritual and medical, physical, medical, physical, spiritual and metaphysical um, healers and light workers who are assisting with expanding your path, expanding their path, expanding the collective's path. It's like a spiritual and metaphysical Netflix. You can find Cosmic TV on CosmicTelevision.com, on the App Store, here on Facebook, of course. And you're going to find other films from conscious filmmakers, other shows like this. You're going to find courses, etc. So definitely check out Cosmic TV more in depth if you haven't already. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Laura Mazzotta. I am an Akashic healer and a Reiki master. And I've also been a therapist for almost 20 years. And it's really my passion to assist people with the deepest, most long lasting healing from chronic physical illness. And I love doing this for light workers. I love being able to assist them with stepping into their power and being able to realize that, you know, it doesn't just have to be that I'm sick or I'm a light worker. I get to be both, right? In fact, I just did a masterclass called the Both and Masterclass, a free masterclass. If you want the replay, it's going to be up through Monday. Just shoot me a message and I'll get it over to you because it was all about the fact that we can be both, right? You can be a light worker and be sick. You don't have to, to choose one over the other. In fact, the, the paths are intertwined, correct? Like we're always learning about ourselves. So I'm, I'm in this very like chatty mood today where I have all this intuition flowing because I just did this masterclass. So um, if I go off on tangents today, it's because the Akash is just like totally taken me for a ride today in all the, all the best ways. So how do I heal the pain body? Yeah, that's a beautiful question. That's a, it's a process, right? It's a process that you can't just heal physical chronic illness or chronic problems or patterns it with a pill or in one second or overnight or in one interaction with a doctor or with a treatment. We need to give our bodies space and patience. It's one of the biggest things we can learn from the chronic illness journey is that we are meant to have infinite patience for ourselves, intimate love and grace for ourselves. When it comes to pain, it's turning toward the pain, understanding the pain, getting the messages that exist underneath them. And why, are, why is it here now? At this moment in time, what purpose is it serving? Because it's your body getting your attention, right? Our body uses physical symptoms to get our attention so that our awareness is heightened and we can expand our understanding of ourselves and the world around us, okay? So today we're going to be talking about, <clears throat> what are we talking about today? People who are better than you, right? People who think they're better than you or you think that people are better than you. So how many people have experienced this? Raise your hand in the comments and let me know. If you feel like you've gotten to that point in your life where you're like, people are just better than me. Last week, we were talking about comparison a little bit. I started giving you actually a little bit of a preview of what we talked about in my masterclass today. We were talking about this concept of comparison and how the ego naturally goes there to compare and to compete with other people and to get into defensive mode. Hi, Robin. How are you on this beautiful Friday? I hope you're doing well. Um, so yeah, so and thanks for fessing up because it's true, right? We all feel like people are better than us, but the fact is we're all on the same plane, right? And that when we see something else in our field, so for instance, you'll have somebody post on Facebook and say, oh my gosh, I just made $200,000 in a month. And you're like, dude, I don't even make a quarter of that in a year, you know? and you kind of feel a little snarky about it. It's a very common reaction, right? Instead, what I want you to do is celebrate and say, oh my gosh, that's available to me too? If it's possible for anyone here, it's possible for everyone. All it takes is you deciding, right? And aligning your vibration with that of what you desire, which means what? Spend more time with your desire. Cultivate a relationship with your desire. Cultivate a relationship with your heart space. Listen to it unconditionally and non-judgmentally. Ask it what it has for you today. 
what kind of messages or what kind of fulfillment am, am I meant to bring into my world or others' world today? And what does success even mean like mean to you? What does what do you how do you define it? What does it look like? Because success is something that we often ride the coattails of society on and think that it's, you know, making money and being skinny and, you know, having this highfalutin degree or whatever it is, right? Or having the spouse and two to three children and a dog. So it's important for you to identify what is success for me. For me, it is extremely continuing to deepen my most intimate relationships. That is what it is for me. So the more and more intimate, it was funny because I was talking to somebody the other day and they were like, how are you doing? And I said, well, I'm fabulous and feeling better than I've felt in five years since I had sepsis and I'm just loving my life and I'm super happy and all the things. And I was also answering, not in terms of my business, not in terms of my role at work. That is one of the reasons why I feel that way. But ultimately, that's how my soul is feeling right now. I am allowing myself to sit in my desire. I'm allowing myself to spend time with my desire. And I get to define the next steps however I want. Not with my ego, though, because when we do that with our ego, we get stuck in a trap. I do find it challenging to not judge people that talk about how much money they made. Yep, however, I appreciate that they don't care. Thank you for your answer about the pain body. Seems you have a lot to learn. But go ahead and talk, perhaps a bit slowly. Just try to be, try to be present. <laughs> Okay, cool. So um, anyway, so I just wanted to go back to this comment from Robin. I do find it challenging to not judge people that talk about how much money they made. However, I appreciate that they don't care. So that's really interesting because, you know, I do appreciate that people like celebration. You know what I mean? They really like to um, participate in celebration for the things that they've accomplished and that they really, really want to share it with other people. Like they truly, truly feel like they are, hold on one second here. Um, they truly feel like they are sharing this out of the goodness of their hearts. I think it also depends on where their, it depends on where their intention comes from. Because the intention is always coming from a heart space. That's what you want to assume because you're coming from a heart space. You're coming from a place of love, right? And so when you're coming from a place of love, you want to trust that other people are also coming from a place of love. So you want to receive it that way. You want to receive it with love. You're not going to know their intention necessarily, right? But you want to be able to receive whatever it is they're putting out there with as a gesture of love. So there's a reason why that comes across your feed. And that's really the more important question to ask is like, why is this coming up into my awareness right now? What is the reason that this is creating that edge and that friction within me? That's a cue, right? This is exactly what I was just talking about in my free masterclass. There is a cue that we get when we're comparative, competitive, or defensive right? Where it's an opportunity to bring it in front of our awareness and say, okay, I have awareness of this right now. That's beautiful. I have the awareness. Now it's what you do with it, right? So now you're aware of this and this is able to let, to, to show you where your lessons lie within it. There probably are a lot of people out there in this world who are just fixated on money and just want money for reasons that are not heart-centered. This is why it's important for female entrepreneurs to have more money in their pockets, to be able to create change from a heart-centered space. That's really the mentality that they're coming from. But it's about expanding into that. And it's important for you to not judge yourself because you're not there or you haven't aligned to it or you don't want to yet. I remember saying to a coach of mine, I think it was about six months, eh, maybe a year ago, um, where I said to her, I was just like, I just don't care. Like, I just don't, I, I don't want to strive for the $100,000 months. I, I, I just don't want to. And she's like, that's fine. You don't have to. 
You know what I mean? Like you don't, you don't have to. And sometimes we feel like we have to want that, you know, as spiritual entrepreneurs and as like women of influence in the spiritual community. So it's like, you know, sometimes it, it can feel like we should want that. And that just means we need to work on our money mindset. I mean, sure, we can work on our money mindset. I, I mean, I'm, I'm learning every single day about my shadow, about who I am, about my interactions. I'm allowing it all to reflect back to me. And I'm doing so with love and grace. Right? So we always have more to learn for sure. But it's also them offering an opportunity to see what's available in the field. That's there if I want it. I can go grab that. I can go grab that money if I desire it. All I have to do is align to it and I can go get it. But you know what? I'm not there in my journey yet. And I don't even desire that yet. And that's okay. And I may at some point and I may not. Either way, I'm very happy and fulfilled. I also know that I have the ability to continue to get more and more phenomenal on my path. That doesn't necessarily have to come in the form of, of currency. I think you said something else, Robin. This is obviously an old belief that I have around showing off. Yes, feels like a father issue. Exactly. Sometimes I feel like it's about being happy with what we have, but also having goals. Exactly. You can hold both at the same time, right? Like you can hold saying like, yeah, I'm actually, I'm really happy with where I am and I'm very grateful for what I have, but I also know that there's infinite potential and I'm open to that. I'm not rooting myself into an agenda around it where it has to look this way and et cetera. You know what I mean? Success is not about money. It's about finding your being. Exactly. A hundred percent. And it's about aligning with an abundant vibration. The vibration of abundance is rampant and infinitely available to us in the universe. And abundance can come in any forms. It can come in money and health and wealth and love and relationships, right? We don't just have to talk about abundance in the form of money either. But it's just being able to realize I'm grateful for what I have and I, and I am open for anything that the universe desires to bring for me. Not, I want this money because, because even that, even lightworkers saying, I want this money in the hands of other lightworkers so that we can make change on the planet. I agree, but I also think that we have an immense level of influence being able to connect to the universe, align our energy with it, shine that forward, share our message unapologetically, and then the other people will come to that if they are meant to. Right? Always be a cheerleader for yourself. Once you appreciate things you have, you will draw in more once you have gratitude for it. Yes, exactly. Because you're bringing yourself into a higher vibration. You're bringing yourself into a space that so many other people desire. And that at one point you did desire. And now you have it. So celebrate it. Appreciate it. Sink into it. Honor yourself for being in that space. Right? So thank you guys so much for chatting back and forth about this, um, this concept. Because no one is better than anyone else. Right? No one is better than anyone else. We're all on the same plane. And the people who are in Hollywood making millions and millions and millions of dollars probably per day, God bless them because guess what they show us? It's here on this planet. It exists. It has been manifested by someone. And that's what's so cool. The more and more people that get into this work and that expand and that learn and all of that, the more we learn about the infinite space, the more we learn about all these different pockets of infinity that we are tapping into. And we're going to be able to access more and more of this knowledge as more and more people come online and get accustomed to being in touch with their intuition, to being attuned to the Akashic Records, to being attuned to Reiki, et cetera, and allowing all of this to come forward. I do feel there is judgment around how much people make and people comparing that. Very old school. We are slowly moving away from people asking. So what do you do for a living is a major topic of conversation. Exactly. We've already evolved, right? We've already evolved behind that, beyond that. And it's so funny because I have a high schooler. And she came home the other day and she was telling me this story about how they were in class and they were all waiting for, I believe it was their test results or something from the day before. So they were all waiting for their test results. And these two girls kind of like got up on their desks and they were like, we are manifesting it. We are calling it in. And she tells me these stories all the time. And it's just so cool to see that that language is being circulated in youth. 
right? I love being able to see that language being circulated in a younger population so that these kinds of conversations about what do you do for a living and that makes you worthy can fall away from our society and not impact our children in the same way that may have impacted us when we were younger, right? So I really love seeing progress like that. I think it's really beautiful. All right, friends, so anybody who would like to understand how to hold both, like how do I hold both and at the same time? How am I sick and successful? How can I feel weak and strong? If you wanna know how to hold both of those, I just did the masterclass today from 12 to 1.30. It's a 90 minute masterclass, totally free. If you want access to the replay, just shoot me a message or put a comment on this video and tag me. And then I can give you the link to the replay to be able to access it through Monday because it'll be taken down on Monday morning. Okay, so you have a little, a few days, you got the weekend to be able to catch up, receive some healing. Water never flows straight. It conforms to the direction it wants to flow. Be the water in your life. Flow according to your unique vibration. Exactly. I love that so much. And that's what's beautiful about nature. You know, when we, when we touch base with nature, when we touch base with nature and we're, we uh, allow ourselves to see the natural cycles and the natural flow, et cetera, in our lives, it's, and we sink into that and we realize that our beings came from that, then that's what we know confidently we need to return to. And we can set our intentions in that area instead of on our success agenda, right? And really surrender that. Okay, Lori, I'll send it to you, love. Okay. All right, friends. So thank you so much for joining me here. And I will see you next Friday at 2.15 p.m. Eastern for another episode of Imperfectly Well. This is all about being able to embrace the fact that no, we are not perfection, but that does not mean that we are not well. Again, another duality there that we can bust, busting the dual duality myth here on Imperfectly Well on this Friday afternoon. So I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend. Thank you for joining me here live or on the replay, and I will see you soon. Bye.